the budget numbers on the slide and make sure you add the lab safety refresher <laughs> comment to your timesheet. I'm going to be kicking off the training and the reason that we're doing this training today is BAR is responsible for making sure all of us know about the hazards that we have in our work, especially the stuff we're working with in the lab and what measures we can take to make sure that we're working with chemicals safely and make sure we also know how to hand, or know how to use the chemical hygiene plan and what's in it for the work that we're doing. So to be able to cover all of those things today, I thought a good way to do it would be to review the good calls and close calls, incidents and spills and exposures that we had in 2019. So those are our events and incidents of 2019, and you're welcome to ask me questions about them at the end of the presentation. But for now, I will turn it over to our bar lab users to share their stories. And first up is Kira. So my story is actually from work that I did while I was employed at a previous consulting firm. I'm new to bar. I just started in May. So. In this case, we were setting up experiments with microcosms that used um, high concentrations of TCE, and we had them in these scintillation vials that are shown on the screen. The workflow was to take a sample of the headspace with a needle and inject it into a gas chromatograph. Uh, um, I've done it hundreds and hundreds of times. On one occasion, I was in the process of doing that, and one of the scintillation vials was sitting on the bench, and it actually got caught on the sleeve of my lab coat. And as I was moving away from the bench, it, it took a little ride on the sleeve <laughs> out over the floor, and then I noticed and slowly moved my arm back over the lab bench, and it didn't, it didn't end up falling. And My example is um, from a bench test that I did at a client site uh, down in Missouri. Uh, they are battery acid or car battery recycling facility um, and what we were looking at for them was to basically come up with a system to neutralize uh, their battery acid that's coming out of the spent batteries. Um, there was a couple of challenges with this bench test, um, one being the amount of sample that we needed to generate. So we wanted to generate analytical samples which you know 500, 250 mils is not unreasonable. So um, we also wanted to look at the solids. So we needed a substantial volume. So to do that, we're doing it in this five gallon bucket here on the floor. 